Technology Outlook for Automotive MLCC MLCC is an abbreviation for Multi-Layer Ceramic Capacitor. It consists of three main components. There are dielectrics, internal electrodes, and external electrodes connecting them. Dielectrics and internal electrodes are stacked alternately in several layers. That is why it's called Multi-Layer Ceramic Capacitor. Usually there are many different dielectric materials, but Samsung Electromechanics mainly uses barium titanate, and we use nickel for internal electrodes and copper for external electrodes. Increasing the capacitance is the main direction of MLCC technology development. The capacitance is determined by four factors as shown in the equation. The closer the distance between electrodes, the more layers are stacked, the higher the dielectric constant of the material used, and the larger the effective area, the greater the capacitance we can have, how thin the dielectric layers can be realized, and how high they be stacked are the keys to MLCC technology. Let's now take a look at where MLCCs are actually used. The picture on the left shows a dissembled cell phone. The components within the red line are all MLCCs, as small as about a thousand MLCCs go into a smartphone. For a car that is large and spacious, more than 10,000 MLCCs are used. As many as 30,000 MLCCs are used for a premium car. Why is the MLCC widely used in electronic products? Because they play an essential role for information transmission and IC protection within the circuit. That's why when the circuit gets faster and the amount of current it processes increases, the number of MLCCs used increases proportionately. Next, Samsung Electromechanics has a wide range of products, which can cope with the temperature and voltage, and a technology that enables mass production. Lastly, it is a general purpose product for various environments. The MLCC in the circuit plays a very important role in signaling and processing. There are two main roles of MLCC in the circuit, removing the noise represented by the AC component and preventing IC malfunction due to sudden voltage fluctuations in the circuit. The picture on the left shows how much coverage each capacitor has depending on the environment. There are largely three types of capacitors, MLCC, tantalum, and aluminum electrolytic capacitors. Looking at the annual production capacity, with all manufacturers combined, up to four trillion MLCCs are produced. This is 200 to 250 times the annual production of aluminum or electrolytic capacitors. This is because mass production is possible. Aluminum or tantalum capacitors are produced individually, whereas MLCCs can be mass produced in a unit called a bar, from tens of thousands to millions at a time. The MLCC has high dielectric breakdown voltage, no polarity, and lower heat dissipation in the frequency bands. Thanks to these characteristics, the range of MLCC applications is gradually expanding Looking at where MLCCs are used in what environment, the left side represents harsher use environments, and the right side indicates environments with lower temperatures and voltage. The MLCC is widely used in mobile phones, where the voltage and temperature are low, and the mounting space is very small. Relatively small MLCC, the MLCC 0603, represented by 0.6 mm and 0.3 mm, is mostly used in mobile phones. On the other hand, the more you go to the left, the more space you have. Instead, the environment gets harsher. To cope with this, the size gets bigger. For vehicles, the most commonly used sizes are 1608 and 2012, and the large 3225 is currently used in cars. MLCC technology has continued to develop due to the set environments and the wide use of mobile phones. And as automobiles become electronic, the amount of data processed continues to increase. Self-driving and electric vehicles are automotive megatrends. The amount of data processed increases by about 100 times in level three autonomous driving compared to level one. And the voltage from the battery increases gradually in EVs. It increases to the range between 600 volts and 1000 volts from the previous 12 volts or 48 volt system. The MLCC's role in circuits is basically similar whether for IT or automobiles. The big difference between MLCC's for automobiles and IT is the environment in which they are used. 
how high reliability it can have in the environment makes a difference between IT and automotive MLCCs. The table below shows the use environments. IT MLCCs usually have a warranty life of about three years, whereas automotive MLCCs have more than 15 years of lifetime. To have a lifetime of 15 years or more, it is important to assure extremely high reliability. The operating temperature also rises to over 150 degrees in automotive MLCCs, especially near the engine or for the braking system that generates a lot of heat. MLCCs require a guaranteed temperature of 150 degrees or higher. The operating voltage is around 2 to 3 volts in cell phones, but in vehicles, the voltage entering the circuit continues to increase. So, in order to assure reliability, high voltage MLCCs are required. In automobiles, parts that transmit vibration and shock require MLCCs that can withstand the war pitch and vibration of the substrate. The blue areas on the chart are assured by IT MLCCs, while the areas marked in light blue are assured by automotive MLCCs. The reliability assured by automotive MLCCs is almost 10 to 30 times higher. Before the COVID-19 outbreak, the automotive market saw continued growth, in particular with the introduction of self-driving and EVs. The automotive market was expected to grow steadily. While the growth slowed in 2019 and 2020 due to COVID-19, the trend of EVs and self-driving is continuing. To enable self-driving, the parts that used to be mechanically controlled need to be controlled electronically. So, in order to process enormous data coming from devices like cameras, many ICs are used. So, the number of MLCCs increases proportionately. Compared to 2019, automotive MLCCs are expected to grow more than double in 2025. A car is largely divided into four areas. Infotainment refers to all systems provided for driver convenience, including navigation in the car. Radio and video systems also go into this category. And there is the engine system called powertrain. There are airbags and camera sensors for autonomous driving or safety, and the vehicle body and chassis. A car is usually made up of 20 to 35 ECUs. Depending on the level of autonomous driving or the use environment or convenience specification level, the number of ECUs is gradually on the rise. To identify the set trend, Samsung Electromechanics has been analyzing ECUs in vehicles. The biggest growth is seen in the infotainment sector, also called IVI, and the ADIS sector, which are circled in red. If we divide the MLCC into product groups, MLCCs with ultra-high capacity, 10 microfarad or more, in the blue box are expected to increase significantly by more than 50%. Looking at the overall trend of the automotive MLCCs, Ultra-high capacity and high capacity products used around semiconductors in the IVI and ADIS sets continue to increase. Special environments such as high pressure over 630 volts or high temperature over 150 degrees are expected by the introduction of electric vehicles. With these two tracks, automotive MLCCs are expected to grow. The market for IT is being gradually saturated whereas the automotive market has a high annual average growth rate and smaller price declines. So, we expect that the future MLCC market will be led by automotive MLCCs. To secure the growing demand, our customers require a stable supply with quality products. Looking at the overall market size, the automotive MLCC is forecast to increase to about 35%. Industrial products above are almost equivalent to automotive MLCCs. So developing automotive MLCCs allows us to enter the industrial market as well. To expand the high capacity and ultra high capacity market, it is crucial to secure the BT size of raw material. The thickness of the dielectric layers and capacity per unit volume. Almost every two years, Samsung Electromechanics have halved the BT size we have also reduced the thickness of the dielectric layer by about half every two years, while doubling the capacity per unit volume every three to four years. The core elements of automotive MLCCs are raw material and process technologies. To secure raw material technology, Samsung Electromechanics seeks to self-produce internal and external electrodes of the dielectric material, as well as all other auxiliary materials. As you can see in the picture on the left, 
we are preparing a raw material production facility in Busan inside our factory so that we can internalize raw materials. Among MLCC companies, only a few players can produce raw materials. The Busan factory is dedicated to automotive MLCCs to guarantee stable capacity and delivery time to customers. Samsung Electromechanics is also preparing a factory dedicated to automotive products in Tianjin. Raw material technology, which is a core technology, equipment technology, and stable supply capacity. Based on these three capabilities, Samsung Electromechanics is preparing to expand the automotive MLCC market. This is all for today. Thank you.